Samsung Korean, Samsung Hanja, Sanxing Korean pronunciation, SAMS, means Tristar in English, is a South Korean multinational conglomerate headquartered in Samsung Town, Seoul. It comprises numerous affiliated businesses, most of them united under the Samsung brand, and is the largest South Korean chaebol business conglomerate. Samsung was founded by Lee Byung-chul in 1938 as a trading company. Over the next three decades, the group diversified into areas including food processing, textiles, insurance, securities, and retail. Samsung entered the electronics industry in the late 1960s and the construction and shipbuilding industries in the mid-1970s. These areas would drive its subsequent growth. Following Lee's death in 1987, Samsung was separated into four business groups, Samsung Group, Shinsegae Group, CJ Group and Hansel Group. Since 1990, Samsung has increasingly globalized its activities and electronics, in particular, its mobile phones and semiconductors have become its most important source of income. As of 2017, Samsung has the sixth highest global brand value. Notable Samsung industrial affiliates include Samsung Electronics, the world's largest information technology company, consumer electronics maker and chipmaker measured by 2017 revenues, Samsung Heavy Industries, the world's second largest shipbuilder measured by 2010 revenues, and Samsung Engineering and Samsung C&T, respectively the world's 13th and 36th largest construction companies. Other notable subsidiaries include Samsung Life Insurance, the world's 14th largest life insurance company, Samsung Everland, operator of Everland Resort, the oldest theme park in South Korea, and Chile Worldwide, the world's 15th largest advertising agency measured by 2012 revenues. Samsung has a powerful influence on South Korea's economic development, politics, media and culture and has been a major driving force behind the miracle on the Han River. Its affiliate companies produce around a fifth of South Korea's total exports. Samsung's revenue was equal to 17% of South Korea's $1,082 billion GDP. Etymology <inaudible> 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 According to Samsung's founder, the meaning of the Korean Hanja word Samsung Sanxing is tri star or three stars. The word three represents something big, numerous, and powerful. Topic <laughs> History. 1938 to 1970 In 1938, Lee Byung-chul of a large landowning family in the Uiryong County moved to nearby Daegu City and founded Samsung Sangho. Samsung Sangho San Xing Shang. Samsung started out as a small trading company with 40 employees located in Su Dong, now Ingyo Dong. It dealt in dried fish, locally grown groceries and noodles. The company prospered and Lee moved its head office to Seoul in 1947. When the Korean War broke out, he was forced to leave Seoul. He started a sugar refinery in Busan named Chile Jedang. In 1954, Lee founded Chile Mojik and built the plant in Chimson Dong, Daegu. It was the largest woolen mill ever in the country. Samsung diversified into many different areas. Lee sought to establish Samsung as leader in a wide range of industries. Samsung moved into lines of business such as insurance, securities and retail. In 1947, Cho Hong Jae, the Hyosung Group's founder, jointly invested in a new company called Samsung Mulsan Gongsa, or the Samsung Trading Corporation, with the Samsung's founder Lee Byung-chul. The trading firm grew to become the present-day Samsung C&T Corporation. After a few years, Cho and Lee separated due to differences in management style. Cho wanted a 30 equity share. Samsung Group was separated into Samsung Group and Hyosung Group, Hankook Tire and other businesses. In the late 1960s, Samsung Group entered the electronics industry. 
It formed several electronics-related divisions, such as Samsung Electronics Devices, Samsung Electro-Mechanics, Samsung Corning and Samsung Semiconductor and Telecommunications, and made the facility in Suwon. Its first product was a black and white television set. Topic: 1970 to 1990. In 1980, Samsung acquired the Gumi-based Hongek Jonha Tongzhen and entered telecommunications hardware. Its early products were switchboards. The facility was developed into the telephone and fax manufacturing systems and became the center of Samsung's mobile phone manufacturing. They have produced over 800 million mobile phones to date. The company grouped them together under Samsung Electronics in the 1980s. After Lee, the founder's death in 1987, Samsung Group was separated into four business groups. Samsung Group, Shinsegae Group, CJ Group and the Hansel Group. Shinsegae discount store, department store was originally part of Samsung Group, separated in the 1990s from the Samsung Group along with CJ Group food, chemicals, entertainment, logistics, and the Hansel Group paper, telecom. Today these separated groups are independent and they are not part of or connected to the Samsung Group. One Hansel Group representative said, Only people ignorant of the laws governing the business world could believe something so absurd. Adding, When Hansel separated from the Samsung Group in 1991, it severed all payment guarantees and share holding ties with Samsung affiliates. One Hansel Group source asserted, Hansel, Shinsegae, and CJ have been under independent management since their respective separations from the Samsung Group. One Shinsegae department store executive director said, Shinsegae has no payment guarantees associated with the Samsung Group. In 1980s, Samsung Electronics began to invest heavily in research and development, investments that were pivotal in pushing the company to the forefront of the global electronics industry. In 1982, it built a television assembly plant in Portugal, in 1984, a plant in New York, in 1985, a plant in Tokyo, in 1987, a facility in England, and another facility in Austin, Texas, in 1996. As of 2012, Samsung has invested more than US$13 billion in the Austin facility, which operates under the name Samsung Austin Semiconductor. This makes the Austin location the largest foreign investment in Texas and one of the largest single foreign investments in the United States. Topic: 1990 to 2000. Samsung started to rise as an international corporation in the 1990s. Samsung's construction branch was awarded contracts to build one of the two Petronas Towers in Malaysia, Taipei 101 in Taiwan and the Burj Khalifa in United Arab Emirates. In 1993, Lee Kun-hee sold off 10 of Samsung Group's subsidiaries, downsized the company, and merged other operations to concentrate on three industries, electronics, engineering and chemicals. In 1996, the Samsung Group reacquired the Sungkyungkwan University Foundation. Samsung became the world's largest producer of memory chips in 1992 and is the world's second largest chip maker after Intel. See worldwide top 20 semiconductor market share ranking year by year. In 1995, it created its first liquid crystal display screen. Ten years later, Samsung grew to be the world's largest manufacturer of liquid crystal display panels. Sony, which had not invested in large-size TFT LCDs, contacted Samsung to cooperate, and, in 2006, SLCD was established as a joint venture between Samsung and Sony in order to provide a stable supply of LCD panels for both manufacturers. SLCD was owned by Samsung 50% plus one share and Sony 50% minus one share and operates its factories and facilities in Tangjing, South Korea. 
As of 26 December 2011, it was announced that Samsung had acquired the stake of Sony in this joint venture. Compared to other major Korean companies, Samsung survived the 1997 Asian financial crisis relatively unharmed. However, Samsung Motor was sold to Renault at a significant loss. As of 2010, Renault Samsung is 80.1% owned by Renault and 19.9% owned by Samsung. Additionally, Samsung manufactured a range of aircraft from the 1980s to 1990s. The company was founded in 1999 as Korea Aerospace Industries the result of a merger between then three domestic major aerospace divisions of Samsung Aerospace, Daewoo Heavy Industries and Hyundai Space and Aircraft Company. However, Samsung still manufactures aircraft engines and gas turbines. 2000 Present in 2000, Samsung opened a development center in Warsaw, Poland. Its work began with set-top box technology before moving into digital TV and smartphones. The smartphone platform was developed with partners, officially launched with the original Samsung Solstice line of devices and other derivatives in 2008, which was later developed into Samsung Galaxy line of devices including Notes, Edge and other products. In 2010, Samsung announced a 10-year growth strategy centered around five businesses. One of these businesses was to be focused on biopharmaceuticals, to which has committed 2 trillion 100 billion won. In first quarter of 2012, Samsung Electronics became the world's largest mobile phone maker by unit sales, overtaking Nokia, which had been the market leader since 1998. On the 24th of August 2012, nine American jurors ruled that Samsung Electronics had to pay Apple 1.05 billion dollars in damages for violating six of its patents on smartphone technology. The award was still less than the $2.5 billion requested by Apple. The decision also ruled that Apple did not violate five Samsung patents cited in the case. Samsung decried the decision saying that the move could harm innovation in the sector. It also followed a South Korean ruling stating that both companies were guilty of infringing on each other's intellectual property. In first trading after the ruling, Samsung shares on the Kospi index fell 7.7%, the largest fall since 24 October 2008, to 1,177,000 Korean won. Apple then sought to ban the sales of eight Samsung phones Galaxy S4G, Galaxy S2 AT&T, Galaxy S2 Skyrocket, Galaxy S2T Mobile, Galaxy S2 Epic 4G, Galaxy S Showcase, Droid Charge and Galaxy Prevail in the United States which has been denied by the court. In 2015, Samsung has been granted more U.S. patents than any other company, including IBM, Google, Sony, Microsoft and Apple. Apple. The company received 7,679 utility patents through the 11th of December. On the 2nd of August 2016, Samsung Electronics unveiled the Galaxy Note 7 smartphone, which went on sale on the 19th of August 2016. However, in early September 2016, Samsung suspended sales of the phone and announced an informal recall. This occurred after some units of the phones had batteries with a defect that caused them to produce excessive heat, leading to fires and explosions. Samsung replaced the recalled units of the phones with a new version, however, it was later discovered that the new version of the Galaxy Note 7 also had the battery defect. Samsung recalled all Galaxy Note 7 smartphones worldwide on 10 October 2016, and permanently ended production of the phone the following day. Topic acquisitions and attempted acquisitions Samsung has made the following acquisitions and attempted acquisitions. Roly, Swiss watch battle Samsung Techwin acquired German camera maker Roly in 1995. Samsung Roly used its optic expertise on the crystals of a new line of 100% Swiss-made watches, designed by a team of watchmakers at Nouvelle Pacares SA in Bassicourt, Switzerland. Rolex's decision to fight Roly on every front stemmed from the close resemblance between the two names and fears that its sales would suffer as a consequence. 
In the face of such a threat, the Geneva firm decided to confront. This was also a demonstration of the Swiss watch industry's determination to defend itself when an established brand is threatened. Rolex sees this frontline battle as vital for the entire Swiss watch industry. Rolex has succeeded in keeping Roly out of the German market. On the 11th of March 1995, the Cologne District Court prohibited the advertising and sale of Roly watches on German territory. In 1999, Roly management bought out the company. Fokker, Dutch aircraft maker Samsung lost a chance to revive its failed bid to take over Dutch aircraft maker Fokker when other airplane makers rejected its offer to form a consortium. The three proposed partners, Hyundai, Hanjin and Daewoo, notified the South Korean government that they would not join Samsung Aerospace Industries, AST Research Samsung bought AST in a failed attempt to break into the North American computer market. Samsung was forced to close the California-based computer maker following mass resignations of research staff and a string of losses. Fubu Clothing and Apparel in 1992, American fashion entrepreneur Damon John started the company with a hat collection that was made in the basement of his house in the Queens area of New York City. To fund the company, John had to mortgage his house for $100,000. With his friends J. Alexander Martin, Carl Brown and Keith Perrin, half of his house was turned into the first factory of FUBU, while the other half remained as the living quarters. Along with the expansion of FUBU, Samsung invested in FUBU in 1995. Lehman Brothers Holdings Asian Operations Samsung Securities was one of a handful of brokerages looking into Lehman Brothers Holdings. But Nomura Holdings has reportedly waived the biggest check to win its bid for Lehman Brothers Holdings Asian operations, beating out Samsung Securities, Standard Chartered and Barclays. Ironically, after few months Samsung Securities Co., Ltd. and City of London-based N.M. Rothschild & Sons more commonly known simply as Rothschild have agreed to form a strategic alliance in investment banking business. Two parties will jointly work on cross-border mergers and acquisition deals, Medicine Co., Limited Ultrasound Monitors in December 2010, Samsung Electronics bought Medicine Co., a South Korean medical equipment company, the first step in a long-discussed plan to diversify from consumer electronics, Grandis Inc. memory developer in July 2011, Samsung announced that it had acquired Spin Transfer Torque Random Access Memory MRAM vendor Grandis Inc. Inc. Grandis will become a part of Samsung's R&D operations and will focus on development of next-generation random access memory. Samsung and Sony joint venture, Liquid Crystal Displays On 26 December 2011 the board of Samsung Electronics approved a plan to buy Sony's entire stake in their 2004 joint Liquid Crystal Display LCD venture for 1.08 trillion won $938.97 million MSPOT, Inc., Music Service On 9 May 2012, MSPOT announced that it had been acquired by Samsung Electronics with the intention of a cloud-based music service. The succeeding service was Samsung Music Hub, NVELO, Inc. Cash software developer In December 2012, Samsung announced that it had acquired the privately held storage software vendor NVELO, Inc., based in Santa Clara, California. NVELO will become part of Samsung's R&D operations, and will focus on software for intelligently managing and optimizing next-generation Samsung SSD storage subsystems for consumer and enterprise computing platforms, Neurologica, portable CT scanner In January 2013, Samsung announced that it has acquired medical imaging company Neurologica, part of the multinational conglomerate's plans to build a leading medical technology business. Terms of the deal were not disclosed. SmartThings Home Automation On 14 August 2014, Samsung acquired SmartThings, a fast-growing home automation startup. 
The company isn't releasing the acquisition price, but TechCrunch reported a $200 million price tag when first caught word of the deal in July 2014. QuietSide, U.S. air conditioner firm on 19 August 2014, Samsung said it had acquired U.S. air conditioner distributor QuietSide LLC as part of its push to strengthen its smart home business. A Samsung Electronics spokesman said the South Korean company acquired 100% of QuietSide, but declined to elaborate on the price or other details. Proximal Data, Data Virtualization 3 November 2014, Samsung announced it had acquired Proximal Data, Inc., a San Diego, California-based pioneer of server-side caching software with I.O. intelligence that work within virtualized systems, LoopyPay, U.S. mobile payments firm on the 18th of February 2015, Samsung acquired U.S.-based mobile payments firm LoopyPay. This allows Samsung in smartphone transactions. Yesco Electronics, U.S.-based manufacturer of light-emitting diode displays, on the 5th of March 2015, Samsung acquired small U.S.-based manufacturer of light-emitting diode displays, Yesco Electronics, which focuses on making digital billboards and message signs. Viv, intelligent personal assistant on 5 October 2016, Samsung announced it had acquired Viv, a company working on artificial intelligence, rich communications services, text messaging standard on 15 November 2016, Samsung Canada announced it has acquired rich communications services, a company working on a new technology for text messaging. Topic. Sold parts. Topic. Samsung TechWin Samsung TechWin was listed on the Korea Exchange Stock Exchange number 012450, with its principal activities being the development and manufacture of surveillance, aeronautics, optoelectronics, automations and weapons technology. It was announced to be sold to Hanwha Group in December 2014 and the takeover completed in June 2015. Topic. Samsung Thales Samsung Thales Co., Ltd. Until 2001 known as Samsung Thomson CSF Co., Ltd. was a joint venture between Samsung TechWin and the France-based aerospace and defense company Thales. It was established in 1978 and is based in Seoul. Samsung's involvement was passed into Hanwha Group as part of the TechWin transaction. Topic. Samsung General Chemicals Topic. Samsung Total Samsung Total was a 50-50 joint venture between Samsung and the France-based oil group Total SA more specifically Samsung General Chemicals and Total Petrochemicals. Samsung's role was passed into Hanwha Group when the latter acquired Samsung General Chemicals. Topic. Operations Samsung comprises around 80 companies. It is highly diversified, with activities in areas including construction, consumer electronics, financial services, shipbuilding, and medical services. In FY 2009, Samsung reported consolidated revenues of 220 trillion Korean won, $172.5 billion. In FY 2010, Samsung reported consolidated revenues of 280 trillion Korean won, $258 billion, and profits of 30 trillion Korean won, $27.6 billion, based upon a KRW USD exchange rate of 1,084 Korean won and 50 Jaeon per USD. The spot rate is of the 19th of August 2011. These amounts do not include the revenues from all of Samsung's subsidiaries based outside South Korea. 
Topic affiliates As of April 2011, the Samsung Group comprised 59 unlisted companies and 19 listed companies, all of which had their primary listing on the Korea Exchange. Ace Digitech is listed on the Korea Exchange Stock Exchange number 036550. Chile Industries is listed on the Korea Exchange Stock Exchange number 0013000. Chile Worldwide is listed on the Korea Exchange Stock Exchange number 0030000. Credu is listed on the Korea Exchange Stock Exchange number 067280. iMarket Korea is listed on the Korea Exchange Stock Exchange number 122900. Samsung Card is listed on the Korea Exchange Stock Exchange number 029780. Samsung SDS is a multinational IT service company headquartered in Seoul. It was founded in March 1985. Its principal activity is the providing IT system ERP, IT infrastructure, IT consulting, IT outsourcing, data center. Samsung SDS is the Korea's largest IT service company. It achieved total revenues of 6,105.9 billion won, 5.71 billion United States dollars in 2012. Samsung C&T Corporation is listed on the Korea Exchange Stock Exchange 000830. Samsung Electro-Mechanics, established in 1973 as a manufacturer of key electronic components, is headquartered in Suwon, Jeongji-do, South Korea. It is listed on the Korea Exchange Stock Exchange number 009150. Topic: <laughs> Samsung Electronics. Samsung Electronics is a multinational electronics and information technology company headquartered in Suwon and the flagship company of the Samsung Group. Its products include air conditioners, computers, digital televisions, liquid crystal displays including thin film transistors TFTs and active matrix organic light emitting diodes AMOLEDs, mobile phones, monitors, printers, refrigerators, semiconductors and telecommunications networking equipment. It is the world's largest mobile phone maker by unit sales in the first quarter of 2012, with a global market share of 25.4%. It is also the world's second largest semiconductor maker by 2011 revenues after Intel. Samsung Electronics is listed on the Korea Exchange Stock Exchange number 005930. Topic Samsung Engineering Samsung Engineering is a multinational construction company headquartered in Seoul. It was founded in January 1969. Its principal activity is the construction of oil refining plants, upstream oil and gas facilities, petrochemical plants and gas plants, steel making plants, power plants, water treatment facilities, and other infrastructure. It achieved total revenues of 9,298.2 billion won, 8.06 billion United States dollars in 2011. Samsung Engineering is listed on the Korea Exchange Stock Exchange, number 02803450. Topic Samsung Everland Samsung Everland covers the three main sectors of environment and asset, food culture and resort. Topic. Samsung Fine Chemicals Samsung Fine Chemicals is listed on the Korea Exchange Stock Exchange number 004000. Topic Samsung Fire and Marine Insurance Samsung Fire and Marine Insurance is a multinational general insurance company headquartered in Seoul. It was founded in January 1952 as Korea Anbo Fire and Marine Insurance and was renamed Samsung Fire and Marine Insurance in December 1993. Samsung Fire and Marine Insurance offers services including accident insurance, automobile insurance, casualty insurance, fire insurance, liability insurance, marine insurance, personal pensions and loans. 
As of March 2011 it had operations in 10 countries and 6.5 million customers. Samsung Fire and Marine Insurance had a total premium income of $11.7 billion in 2011 and total assets of $28.81 billion on 31 March 2011. It is the largest provider of general insurance in South Korea. Samsung Fire has been listed on the Korea Exchange Stock Exchange since 1975 number 000810. Topic. Samsung Heavy Industries Samsung Heavy Industries is a shipbuilding and engineering company headquartered in Seoul. It was founded in August 1974. Its principal products are bulk carriers, container vessels, crude oil tankers, cruisers, passenger ferries, material handling equipment steel and bridge structures. It achieved total revenues of 13,358.6 billion won in 2011 and is the world's second largest shipbuilder by revenues after Hyundai Heavy Industries. Samsung Heavy Industries is listed on the Korea Exchange Stock Exchange number 010140. Topic: <laughs> Samsung Life Insurance. Samsung Life Insurance Co., Ltd. is a multinational life insurance company headquartered in Seoul. It was founded in March 1957 as Dongbang Life Insurance and became an affiliate of the Samsung Group in July 1963. Samsung Life's principal activity is the provision of individual life insurance and annuity products and services. As of December 2011 it had operations in seven countries, 8.08 .08 million customers and 5,975 employees. Samsung Life had total sales of 22,717 billion won in 2011 and total assets of 161,072 billion won at 31 December 2011. It is the largest provider of life insurance in South Korea. Samsung Life Insurance is listed on the Korea Exchange Stock Exchange number 032830. Topic: <laughs> Samsung Machine Tools. Samsung Machine Tools of America is a national distributor of machines in the United States. Samsung GM Machine Tools is the head office of China. It is an SMEC legal incorporated company. Topic: <laughs> Samsung Medical Center. The Samsung Medical Center was founded on the 9th of November 1994 under the philosophy of contributing to improving the nation's health through the best medical service, advanced medical research and development of outstanding medical personnel." The Samsung Medical Center consists of a hospital and a cancer center. The hospital is located in an intelligent building with floor space of more than 200,000 square meters and 20 floors above ground and 5 floors underground, housing 40 departments, 10 specialist centers, 120 special clinics and 1,306 beds. The 655-bed cancer center has 11 floors above ground and 8 floors underground, with floor space of over 100,000 square meters. SMC is a tertiary hospital manned by approximately 7,400 staff including over 1,200 doctors and 2,300 nurses. Since its foundation, the Samsung Medical Center has successfully incorporated and developed an advanced model with the motto of becoming a patient-centered hospital, a new concept in Korea. Samsung SDI Samsung SDI is listed on the Korea Exchange Stock Exchange number 006400. On 5 December 2012, the European Union's antitrust regulator fined Samsung SDI and several other major companies for fixing prices of TV cathode ray tubes in two cartels lasting nearly a decade. 
SSDI also builds lithium ion batteries for electric vehicles such as the BMW i3, and acquired Magna Stairs battery plant near Graz in 2015. SSDI began using the 21700 cell format in August 2015. Samsung plans to convert its factory in God, Hungary to supply 50,000 cars per year. Topic. Samsung Securities Samsung Securities is listed on the Korea Exchange Stock Exchange number 016360. Topic. Samtron Samtron was a subsidiary of Samsung until 1999 when it became independent. After that, it continued to make computer monitors and plasma displays until 2003. Samtron became Samsung when Samtron was a brand. In 2003, the website redirected to Samsung. Topic: <laughs> Sheila Hotels and Resorts. Hotel Sheila, also known as the Sheila. Opened in March 1979, following the intention of the late Lee Byung-chul, the founder of the Samsung Group. Hosting numerous state visits and international events, it has played the role of locomotive for the service industry in Korea with pride and responsibility as the face representing the Samsung Group and the hotel representing Korea. Hotel Sheila maintains elegance and a tradition of winning guests' hearts with the aim of becoming the best hospitality company. By joining LHW, it is on par with the most luxurious hotels in the world. Meanwhile, it has added modernistic design elements on top of the roof called tradition, thus going through changes to make itself a premium lifestyle space. In addition, with its know-how as a service company in the background, it started a duty-free shop business, and has built its image as the best global distribution company. Also, it is expanding its business into commissioned management of fitness facilities with five-star hotels in Korea and abroad as well as into the restaurant business. Hotel Sheila promises to be a globally prestigious hospitality company that offers the best value for money by making creative innovations and continuously taking on challenges. Sheila Hotels and Resorts is listed on the Korea Exchange Stock Exchange number 008770. S1 Corporation S1 was founded as Korea's first specialized security business in 1997 and has maintained its position at the top of industry with the consistent willingness to take on challenges. S1 Corporation is listed on the Korea Exchange Stock Exchange number 012750. Topic joint Ventures State-run Korea Agro Fisheries Trade Corp. set up the venture, at Grain Co., in Chicago, with three other South Korean companies. Korea Agro Fisheries owns 55% of at Grain, while Samsung C&T Corp., Hanjin Transportation Co., and STX Corporation each hold 15%. Brooks Automation Asia Co., Limited is a joint venture between Brooks Automation 70% and Samsung 30%, which was a established in 1999. The venture locally manufactures and configure vacuum wafer handling platforms and 300mm front opening unified pod load port modules, and designs, manufactures and configures atmospheric loading systems for flat panel displays. Company POS, SLPCS, R, O, was founded in 2007 as a subsidiary of Samsung C&T Corporation, Samsung C&T Deutschland and the company POSCO, Samsung Air China Life Insurance is a 50-50 joint venture between Samsung Life Insurance and China National Aviation Holding. It was established in Beijing in July 2005, Samsung Biologics will be jointly owned. 
Samsung Electronics Co. and Samsung Everland Inc. will each own a 40% stake in the venture, with Samsung C&T Corp. and Durham North Carolina-based quintiles each holding 10%. It will contract make medicines made from living cells, and Samsung Group plans to expand into producing copies of biologics including rituxan, the leukemia and lymphoma treatment sold by Roche Holding AG and Biogen Idic Inc. Samsung Bioepis is a joint venture between Samsung Biologics 85% and the U.S.-based Biogen Idic 15%. In 2014, Biogen IDIC agreed to commercialize future anti-TNF biosimilar products in Europe through Samsung Bioepis. Samsung BP Chemicals, based in Ulsan, is a 49 to 51 joint venture between Samsung and the UK-based BP, which was established in 1989 to produce and supply high-value added chemical products. Its products are used in rechargeable batteries and liquid crystal displays. Samsung Corning Precision Glass is a joint venture between Samsung and Corning, which was established in 1973 to manufacture and market cathode ray tube glass for black and white televisions. The company's first LCD glass substrate manufacturing facility opened in Gumi, South Korea, in 1996. Samsung Sumitomo LED Materials is a Korea-based joint venture between Samsung LED Co., Ltd., and LED Maker based in Suwon, Korea-based and the Japan-based Sumitomo Chemical. The JV will carry out research and development, manufacturing and sales of sapphire substrates for LEDs. SB Lamotive is a 50 to 50 joint company of Robert Bosch GmbH, commonly known as Bosch, and Samsung SDI founded in June 2008. The joint venture develops and manufactures lithium ion batteries for use in hybrid, plug-in hybrid vehicles and electric vehicles. SD Flex Co. Limited was founded on October 2004 as a joint venture corporation by Samsung and DuPont, one of the world's largest chemical companies. Sermatech Korea owns 51% of its stock, while Samsung owns the remaining 49%. The U.S. firm Sermatech International, for a business specializing in aircraft construction processes such as special welding and brazing, Siam Samsung Life Insurance, Samsung Life Insurance holds a 37% stake while the Saha Group also has a 37.5% stake in the joint venture, with the remaining 25% owned by Thanachart Bank, Siltronic Samsung Wafer Private. Limited, the joint venture by Samsung and wholly owned Wacker Chemi subsidiary Siltronic, was officially opened in Singapore in June 2008. SMP Limited is a joint venture between Samsung Fine Chemicals and MEMC. MEMC Electronic Materials Inc. and an affiliate of Korean conglomerate Samsung are forming a joint venture to build a polysilicon plant. Steco is the joint venture established between Samsung Electronics and Japan's Torre Industries in 1995. Stemco is a joint venture established between Samsung Electromechanics and Torre Industries in 1995. Toshiba Samsung Storage Technology Corporation (TSST) is joint venture between Samsung Electronics and Toshiba of Japan, which specializes in optical disk drive manufacturing. TSST was formed in 2004, and Toshiba owns 51% of its stock, while Samsung owns the remaining 49%. Defunct <inaudible> 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 In 1998, Samsung created a U.S. joint venture with Compaq, called Alpha Processor Inc. API, to help it enter the high-end processor market. The venture was also aimed at expanding Samsung's non-memory chip business by fabricating alpha processors. At the time, Samsung and Compaq invested $500 million in alpha processor. GE Samsung Lighting was a joint venture between Samsung and the GE Lighting subsidiary of General Electric. 
The venture was established in 1998 and was broken up in 2009. Global Steel Exchange was a joint venture formed in 2000 between Samsung, the US based Cargill, the Switzerland based Duferco Group, and the Luxembourg based Traderbt, now part of the ArcelorMittal, to handle their online buying and selling of steel. SLCD Corporation was a joint venture between Samsung Electronics, 50% plus 1 share, and the Japan based Sony Corporation. 50% minus 1 share which was established in April 2004 On the 26th of December 2011 Samsung Electronics announced that it would acquire all of Sony's shares in the venture Topic <laughs> Partially owned companies Topic <laughs> Atlantico Sul Samsung Heavy Industries owns 10% of the Brazilian shipbuilder Atlantico Sul, whose Atlantico Sul shipyard is the largest shipyard in South America. The João Candido, Brazil's largest ship, was built by Atlantico Sul with technology licensed by Samsung Heavy Industries. The companies have a technical assistance agreement through which industrial design, vessel engineering and other know-how is being transferred to Atlantico Sul. Topic: <laughs> DGB Financial Group. Samsung Life Insurance currently holds a 7.4% stake in the South Korean banking company DGB Financial Group, making it the largest shareholder. Topic: <coughs> Corning Inc. Samsung acquired 7.4% of Gorilla Glass maker Corning, signing a long-term supply deal. Topic. Doosan Engine Samsung Heavy Industries currently holds a 14.1% stake in Doosan Engine, making it the second largest shareholder. Topic. Korea Aerospace Industries Samsung Techwin currently holds a 10% stake in Korea Aerospace Industries Other major shareholders include the state-owned Korea Finance Corporation 26.75%, Hyundai Motor 10%, and Doosan 10%. Topic: MEMC Korea MEMC's joint venture with Samsung Electronics Company, Ltd. In 1990, MEMC entered into a joint venture agreement to construct a silicon plant in Korea. <laughs> Pantech Samsung buys 10% stake in rival phone maker Pantech. Topic. Rambus Incorporated Samsung currently owns 4.19% of Rambus Incorporated. Topic. Renault Samsung Motors Samsung currently owns 19.9% .9 of the automobile manufacturer Renault Samsung Motors. Topic. Seagate Technology Samsung currently owns 9.6% of Seagate Technology, making it the second largest shareholder. Under a shareholder agreement, Samsung has the right to nominate an executive to Seagate's board of directors. Topic. Sharp Corporation Samsung owns 3% of Sharp Corporation, a rival company. Topic: Sungjin Geotech. 
Samsung Engineering holds a 10% stake in Sung Jin Geotech, an offshore oil drilling company that is a subsidiary of POSCO. Topic Taylor Energy Taylor Energy is an independent American oil company that drills in the Gulf of Mexico based in New Orleans, Louisiana. Samsung Oil and Gas USA Corp., subsidiaries of Samsung, currently owns 20% of Taylor Energy. Topic. Wacom Samsung owns 5% of Wacom. Topic. Major clients Major clients of Samsung include Royal Dutch Shell Samsung Heavy Industries will be the sole provider of liquefied natural gas LNG storage facilities worth up to US$50 billion United States dollars to Royal Dutch Shell for the next 15 years. Shell unveiled plans to build the world's first floating liquefied natural gas FLNG platform. In October 2012 at Samsung Heavy Industries shipyard on Jioye Island in South Korea work started on a ship. That, when finished and fully loaded, will weigh 600,000 tons, the world's biggest ship. That is six times larger than the largest U.S. aircraft carrier, United Arab Emirates government. A consortium of South Korean firms, including Samsung, Korea Electric Power Corporation and Hyundai, won a deal worth $40 billion to build nuclear power plants in the United Arab Emirates, Ontario government, the government of the Canadian province of Ontario signed off one of the world's largest renewable energy projects, signing a deal worth $6.6 .6 billion for an additional 2,500 megawatts of new wind and solar energy. Under the agreement, a consortium led by Samsung and the Korea Electric Power Corporation will manage the development of 2,000 MW worth of new wind farms and 500 megawatts of solar capacity, while also building a manufacturing supply chain in the province. Topic. Corporate image The basic color in the logo is blue, which Samsung has employed for years, supposedly symbolizing stability, reliability and corporate social responsibility. Topic. Audio logo Samsung has an audio logo, which consists of the notes E flat, A flat, D flat, E flat. After the initial E flat tone, it is up a perfect fourth to A flat, down a perfect fifth to D flat, then up a major second to return to the initial E flat tone. The audio logo was produced by Music Vernwagen and written by Walter Wertsowa. Topic. Font. In July 2016, Samsung unveiled its Samsungoni font, a typeface that hopes to give a consistent and universal visual identity to the wide range of Samsung products. Samsungoni was designed to be used across Samsung's diverse device portfolio, with a focus on legibility for everything from smaller devices like smartphones to larger connected TVs or refrigerators, as well as Samsung marketing and advertisements. The font family supports 400 different languages through over 25,000 characters. Topic: <laughs> Samsung Medical Center. Samsung donates around 100 million United States dollars per annum to the Samsung Medical Center, a non-profit healthcare provider founded by the group in 1994. Samsung Medical Center incorporates Samsung Seoul Hospital, Kangbuk Samsung Hospital, Samsung Changwon Hospital, Samsung Cancer Center and Samsung Life Sciences Research Center. The Samsung Cancer Center, located in Seoul, is the largest cancer center in Asia. Samsung Medical Center and pharmaceutical multinational Pfizer have agreed to collaborate on research to identify the genomic mechanisms responsible for clinical outcomes in hepatocellular carcinoma. Topic. 
Topic: Sponsorships. Samsung Electronics spent an estimated $14 billion US on advertising and marketing in 2013. At 5.4% of annual revenue, this is a larger proportion than any of the world's top 20 companies by sales Apple spent 0.6% and General Motors spent 3.5%. Samsung became the world's biggest advertiser in 2012, spending $4.3 billion, compared to Apple's $1 billion. Samsung's global brand value of $39.6 billion is less than half that of Apple. Topic. Controversies Topic. Financial scandals In 2007, former Samsung chief lawyer Kim Yong-chul claimed that he was involved in bribing and fabricating evidence on behalf of the group's chairman Lee Kun-hee and the company. Kim said that Samsung lawyers trained executives to serve as scapegoats in a fabricated scenario to protect Lee, even though those executives were not involved. Kim also told the media that he was sidelined by Samsung after he refused to pay a $3.3 million bribe to the U.S. Federal District Court judge presiding over a case where two of their executives were found guilty on charges related to memory chip price fixing. Kim revealed that the company had raised a large amount of secret funds through bank accounts illegally opened under the names of up to 1,000 Samsung executives. Under his own name, four accounts were opened to manage 5 billion won. Topic: <inaudible> Antitrust concerns. You can even say the Samsung chairman is more powerful than the president of South Korea. South Korean people have come to think of Samsung as invincible and above the law. Said Wu Suk Hoon, host of a popular economics podcast in a Washington Post article headlined, In South Korea, the Republic of Samsung, published on 9 December 2012. Critics claimed that Samsung knocked out smaller businesses, limiting choices for South Korean consumers, and sometimes colluded with fellow giants to fix prices while bullying those who investigate. Lee Yung hee a South Korean presidential candidate, said in a debate, Samsung has the government in its hands. Samsung manages the legal world, the press, the academics and bureaucracy. Topic. Viral marketing The Fair Trade Commission of Taiwan is investigating Samsung and its local Taiwanese advertising agency for false advertising. The case was commenced after the commission received complaints stating that the agency hired students to attack competitors of Samsung Electronics in online forums. Samsung Taiwan made an announcement on its Facebook page in which it stated that it had not interfered with any evaluation report and had stopped online marketing campaigns that constituted posting or responding to content in online forums. <laughs> <laughs> Labor abuses Samsung was the subject of several complaints about child labor in its supply chain from 2012 to 2015. In July 2014, Samsung cut its contract with Xinyang Electronics after it received a complaint about the company violating child labor laws. Samsung says that its investigation turned up evidence of Xinyang using underage workers and that it severed relations immediately per its zero tolerance policy for child labor violations. One of Samsung's Chinese supplier factories, HEG, was criticized for using underage workers by China Labor Watch CLW in July 2014. HEG denied the charges and has sued China Labor Watch. CLW issued a statement in August 2014 claiming that HEG employed over 10 children under the age of 16 at a factory in Weizhou, Guangdong. 
The group said the youngest child identified was 14 years old. Samsung said that it conducted an on-site investigation of the production line that included one-on-one -on -one interviews but found no evidence of child labor being used. CLW responded that HEG had already dismissed the workers described in its statement before Samsung's investigators arrived. CLW also claimed that HEG violated overtime rules for adult workers. CLW said a female college student was only paid her standard wage despite working four hours of overtime per day even though Chinese law requires overtime pay at 1.5 to 2.0 times standard wages. Topic. Price fixing On 19 October 2011, Samsung Companies was fined €145,727,000 for being part of a price cartel of 10 companies for drams which lasted from 1 July 1998 to 15 June 2002. The companies received, like most of the other members of the cartel, a 10% reduction for acknowledging the facts to investigators. Samsung had to pay 90% of their share of the settlement, but Micron avoided payment as a result of having initially revealed the case to investigators. In Canada, during 1999, some DRAM microchip manufacturers conspired to price fix, among the accused included Samsung. The price fix was investigated in 2002. A recession started to occur that year, and the price fix ended. However, in 2014, the Canadian government reopened the case and investigated silently. Sufficient evidence was found and presented to Samsung and two other manufacturers during a class action lawsuit hearing. The companies agreed upon a $120 million agreement, with $40 million as a fine, and $80 million to be paid back to Canadians who purchased a computer, printer, MP3 player, gaming console or camera from April 1999 to June 2002. 